In this video, I'm going to show you a cool hack for the click to reveal widget in Adobe Captivate. One of the first things I noticed when exploring the widgets in Adobe Captivate 12 was that the click to reveal had icons instead of images. And I thought, you know, there's got to be a way to use images rather than icons. Icons are fine for certain situations, but a lot of times you'll have photographs or images of a particular item that you want to use within the click to reveal. So today we'll take a look at how we can do that using a small little hack inside Adobe Captivate. Click to reveal interactions are a great way to chunk out your content into bite-sized pieces. Here we have a workplace safety interaction where we're going to click on identifying hazards, safe work practices, and emergency procedures and learn a little bit more about each. One of the things that many Adobe Captivate users are unaware of is that you don't have to use icons. As you can see, there's default icons that are included with this widget. And while you can certainly turn them off, one of the things that you can do is actually replace this background solid image of each of these click to reveals with an image instead of a solid fill here. Now there are hover and visited states turned on by default. In this example, I think I'm just going to disable those, focus on the normal image here and change it from solid fill to image. And we can select an image of our choosing here. I'm going to use this image here of a worksite problem waiting to happen. And we'll do the same thing with this one here. We'll also disable the visited and hover states, but we will go back and change that solid fill to an image. We can select whatever we wish here. I kind of like this guy here. He's got a hard hat on, so he's doing some safe work practices here. Last but not least, we'll go to emergency procedures here. Again, I'll just disable my hover and my visited. You could keep those and have different images when you roll over it if you wish. But for my purposes here, I'm just going to keep it simple. We'll choose an image here. We'll go to system here. And for emergency procedures here, Maybe we'll show someone reaching for a fire extinguisher there. That looks pretty good. Now we can also modify the image that's in our reveal portion of the click to reveal. So if I select that, we of course can click on the folder icon here and I'll just use the same ones that I had before, but you could have all new images if you wish. So for number two here, we'll have the guy in the hard hat. And for overlay number three, we'll select the fire extinguisher again there, just to have consistency there. If something isn't lined up, of course, don't forget that you can edit your image and then just resize it so that it looks appropriate for all three of the different views that you might be working with here. I think that's pretty good there. We'll just hit save. And we can, of course, close this now and we'll just preview this to see how it looks in our browser. Okay, so we have our identifying hazards. Looks good. Safe work practices and emergency procedures there. Fantastic. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, Hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.